take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. On all vehicles that have a reservoir you add it to the reservoir, unless it is totally empty, then you can add it to the radiator directly. Once the radiator is full you will want to finish topping it off through the reservoir. If you just need to add because it is LOWW, then always use the reservoir. Let's help you make your mark. If your radiator has an overflow tank, add the coolant to that. If there is no overflow tank or if the tank doesn't empty back into your car's cooling system, add the coolant directly to the radiator instead. You can use diluted coolant by itself, or a 50-50 mixture of concentrated coolant and distilled water. Let's help you make your mark. When the overflowing coolant reservoir does not return to the radiator the hot coolant that needs to be cooled down, means that there might be a leakage or clog of the radiator hoses that allow the flow of fluid from the coolant reservoir to the radiator. It can be a result of a damaged radiator cap. Take our lead. How long after adding coolant can I drive? Yes, run the engine after you do any work involved with draining the coolant you will either have an exact process to remove air from the cooling system or you will simply run the engine. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.